Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Hope you guys are doing well. We got a cool video for you today. Well, I got a cool video for you. Justin is not here. He is working on his race car on his house. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. He couldn't make it, but I am gonna try to do this video for you all today. So you guys asked a while ago if we could do a comparison between nine millimeter and 762 by 25. Well, here it is today, folks. This is what we're gonna do. We got these two rounds here, as you can see in this picture, the 762 by 25. Uh, it's a little longer round and it is a hotter round too as well. So I don't have my chronograph. I drove out here to the shooting range and I forgot it at home. But according to the internet, because there's nothing on the box for the FPS for these things. So this is what the internet says as far as what the FPS is on the 762 by 25. The nine millimeter here, this is a 124 uh, grain round and they go about oh, 1175 feet per second. That's muzzle velocity. We'll be shooting about 20 feet away, so it'll slow down just a little bit, but we are gonna test them with these bad boys. These are World War II Soviet era tanker guns. These are great. I love these things. Some people don't, but I love them. They're very easy to control, not a lot of recoil. Uh, if you got the proper license like Justin and I have, you can have the full giggle ones like this and they come with the folding stock, uh, which is really nice for actually holding these bad boys steady. That's what we're gonna be shooting out of these. We got 15 rounds each. So what we're gonna be shooting these bad boys at is this right here. This is a second chance body armor. Now this is a Kevlar body armor. It's a level two. So it states it'll stop at 357 Magnum, 158 grain at 1,395 feet per second. So that's pretty, that's pretty quick round. Uh, but we're gonna be shooting this nine millimeter, 124 grain at about 1175 feet per second and we'll see if that'll stop it and we also got this level three now i bought this level three off of ebay it came in this is that oh that polymer stuff um it's pretty good stuff but we're gonna see how it'll hold up against each of these rounds or at least the 762 by 25 if it stops that well we know it'll stop the nine but it didn't come with any readings on it. Just a dear customer, thank you for buying this product message on the back. Boy, that's got professionalism all over it. Probably from China. Well, anyways, my friends, this is what we got for you. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get going. All right, here we go. First round, nine millimeter into the level two. Here we go. <laughs> that was cool. Clear. Let's check it out. Well, that sucker sure folded in. Well, let's take a look. Oh, well, I can see some Kevlar. Oh, we got some holes. Got a couple holes. Of course, 15 rounds is a bit excessive, so. Uh, but that, that's a good solid hit right there. Man. I'm sure... They went through because more than one hit in one area. But, wow, that's way in there. I'm gonna have to put this camera down. Hang on a second. All right, dang. Well, that's a heck of a cavity wound, that's for sure. Look how far that thing got sucked in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, <laughs> level two, second chance. Uh, my arse check it out right back there there is a nine mil embedded <laughs> look at this one here right through it that one just went right through the second chance body armor well there you go maybe this is supposed to be worn behind some other stuff it doesn't say on there there you go but yeah, wow, what a big cavity wound there. That would definitely be. Um, yeah, that one, you guys can't see that, but I don't think. It just went right through. 
this thing sucked in what's this six inches uh, it took that in well I'm excited to see what happens with the 762 by 25 I think we'll have more penetrations on that and then again we'll try it on the level 3 armor so here we go okay here we go 762 by 25 eh, 15 rounds a bit excessive but who cares You can tell the rate of fire is way different on that one. Much faster, does have more recoil to it. I love these things. Clear, let's go check it out. All right, check this out. <laughs> There's clay splatters out the bottom, so I know that's not good. Good pattern. Didn't get all 15, but hey, that's what happens when you get Chris and not Justin. Lot more holes in the back there. All right, let's put this camera on the stand, check it out. Oh yeah, so much hotter round. I, I could feel it in the recoil of it. It was a lot different. It didn't suck it in, because I think it just blew right through. Yeah, check those out. Those are definitely through and through rounds here. Whoo, check that out, ouch. Yeah, it just blew through this level two uh pretty bad there you go i mean <laughs> i could see through there through there hole through there hole through there just blew right through everything pretty good test going on huh give me a thumbs up for that one all right i'm gonna get this thing put back together I even blew my stand apart i'm gonna get this put back together get the clay all fixed and we'll try the 762 by 25 on level three here we go. All right, here we go. Last one, 762 by 25 into level three body armor. 15 rounds, send it! Yeah, I think it blew through as well. <laughs> Clear. Let's go check it out. Well, it pushed back out from there. It's kind of funny. It's this way. Um, I see some new fresh skid marks in the dirt there. Holes and clay. All right. I wish I knew who I bought this body armor from because it's apparently junk. All right, let's cut these off. Don't need them anymore. Okay. Well, we know it went through. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Look at that. Now, 15 rounds, I get it. That's a bit excessive. Um, what would it do on one round? So apparently it probably stopped one round or two. I mean, there's, there is one right there. It caught that. Um, this one was an edge shot blew through but this one right here it blew right through and they were fairly close these down here again edge shots blew right through you were done and these here well there's a hole right there so it still blew through this level three so the first round could have gone right through as well got some cool uh cool souvenirs there <laughs> that was pretty cool but so you guys can see the front there you go again cavity wound all the way through all the way through all the way through all the way through this one nope but that's four rounds all the way through six inches of clay and three quarter inch plywood oh and level three body armor so that was pretty cool i thought it was a good test Comment below, guys. Let me know what else you'd like me to test these 762x25s on, and I will do it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again so much for subscribing to this channel and helping us out. We really appreciate all you guys. We thank you so much, and we'll be back.